Let's take a look here. Got these wires in here and this is where the pull chain came out of. So we look at that and you know it's down in there. I'm not going to be able to really work on that unless I get that out of there. And in order to do that, this outside pull chain goodie unscrews. You grab that and just untwist it. It's got threads on it. Got to be real careful with this. Because then this kind of pushes out like that. Now we can kind of look at that a little bit more closer, can't we? Okay. That. Let's remember how it goes back together now, okay? I look at this pull chain assembly and I see it's in this plastic goodie and the only way to really get into it is right there. That's where the chain comes out. You pull that and it goes into the next position, the next position, the next position, back and forth. And um, there's really not a good way to replace this chain. This chain has been snapped off and even if I could get into there, I look at this really close and it's got a couple little nibs on the side. See right there? This plastic goodie goes through there and snaps in there. This plastic here is part of this. And I flip that over and around. Here's the other plastic goodie and that's snapped on there. Do you see that? There and there. I pull that apart. I can get to the bottom side of this and see if there's any way to fix this. But I know from the top, I can't really fix this chain anymore. It's been broken off. And uh, could you go ahead and order a new piece like this? Yeah, maybe. But I'm going to show you a better way on how to fix this. I don't want you to have to get a new ceiling fan or say, well, you know, it's stuck into uh, medium from now on. There's nothing I can do about it. Sorry about that. Well, hey, I'm going to show you. How to Joe Giver it. Like I said, this is going to test your patience, but you know what? If I can do it, you can do it. Just remember that. See, we've got to flip this upside down here. And before I pull this apart, let's look at this real quick, shall we? Okay, this back piece. You got a white wire going into it, a gray wire, a blue wire, and a black wire. So I know when I pull this apart, there might be something else in there that I'm going to have to be real careful of. Or if this falls all apart, I may not remember how it goes back together. So that's the first thing. Why are all these wires in there? Well, if you remember, this ceiling, this particular ceiling fan has three speeds and an off position. So when you pull it one time, it's off, okay? The next time you pull it, it's on high. The next time you pull it, it's on medium. The next time you pull it, it's on slow. The next time you pull it, it's on off again. Now I know just by experience that this is in the medium position and if you have any other ceiling fans in your home you can look at those and you can make a determination you can turn those on high medium low and figure out okay is this on high or medium or what you know you'll have a pretty good idea whether or not your ceiling fan is in the high position or not okay that's why I'm changing this all because I want that ceiling fan to be in the high position if I get this thing fixed and get this figured out into the high position, guess what? I don't care if this ceiling fan ever has a pull chain again. That pull chain means nothing to me because this particular ceiling fan is controlled by the ceiling fan switch on the wall. Do you remember? So I don't care about this pull string. That pull chain just gives people fits. You know, you're almost better off cutting it off 
or or pulling it way up high or something just forget about that you even have a pull chain on your ceiling fan if you got a if you got a ceiling fan switch in your wall the only thing you got to remember is that ceiling fan has to be in the high position so that you then can control it at your fan switch in the wall very important that you remember that uh you know, do I like doing this next part? I never like doing this next part because it, certain, there's certain little things in there that are going to fall apart no matter what I do. So I just have to convince my psyche that I can fix this again. Now, I've fixed ceiling fans like this before, and I'm determined, bound and determined, to do it again all for you.